All right, guys, so it's been a solid two weeks before I've made any sort of update. So I wanted to come back on here now that the contractor has left town and after speaking with him, it seems like after we took care of the concrete work in extending out the entry door square footage to accommodate for wheelchairs as well as overall code and goodwill. And after dealing with all of that concrete, he had a pretty hard time recovering from all of that concrete. I haven't been in here today. Um, one of the other major reasons why I'm coming in here is also to kind of show myself what I'm in for. Over the past few weeks, I have been mentioning about working around construction, and as you can see, construction really is all around me. So, I got contacted once again by Laverne, so big shout out, Torin for a few potential days of filming and I've just got to, you know, make room, right? So I'm just kind of looking at everything that needs to be moved. I'm just going to check the lighting still looks good. Um, all right. So what I think I'm going to do to prepare for Laverne is clear off the tables and most likely, you know, move some chairs over as well as some trim just to give a decent amount of space. We are in the middle of construction. Um, the contractor has advised me not to produce anything, but it's been going on two years now, so I don't really have much of a choice. <laughs> so, as we come into Studio B, it's gonna be pretty dark. Um, but before we start talking, I'm gonna go ahead and walk over here and turn on the lights. All right. So, as you can see behind me, the restroom door has been installed. And although I think my dad had a good idea in widening out the doors for code as well as accessibility for anyone in a wheelchair, he definitely regrets the amount of dust that they ingested in their lungs. And from what I'm hearing, that's really gonna be slowing down our progress from the contractor not being able to breathe as well. So in the past two weeks, we really haven't gotten uh, much other items done. Usually the contractor gets into town around a, let's call it a Saturday, may put in one day within that week that he spends and then splits off home. So um, you've just got to look at it that, you know, hey, that's a part of the opportunity cost of doing business and rather it be his lungs than mine. So I think that... We're well hung in here. I think it still needs to be 
braced up or something like that, but at least we have privacy now. Um, it looks like, I don't know, That's not, I'm not going to mess with it just in case. <laughs> I don't want to get anybody upset. And we did a little patch job there as well, um, just to provide support. This is not a retaining wall. Um, it's just basically for the bathrooms, a little bit of a loft up there. And this is another subject that um, is a little bit more difficult, is the office door. Now my dad's thinking about a barn door slider. Now I don't know how soundproof that is. I don't know if it can be locked. Um, that the load on the wall, you know, since this is a load bearing wall, to be able to bring in a door like this to fit. And he seems to believe that he doesn't want a smaller door. Um, so, I mean, in my mind, you could just cut off the top of this door if it's too tall, right? You know, put it in the same area, but just pop the top. <laughs> so, like I said, within the two weeks, I really don't have much to talk about, to be completely honest, that I don't have much to update you guys on, and I really haven't been permitted to film the actual construction process. So, yeah. <laughs> so we're sitting here. Uh, we do have a door on restroom A, as well as soon to be restroom B. It's coming along, guys. Um, pretty sure the bathrooms were the last big item and obviously we're looking now at the office door that seems to be the real next step and also buttoning up the loft uh, checking that out I think uh, yeah they put my sound panel plastic material up there <laughs> that's great so, just being honest here, you know, filling time, making a little bit of a vlog. It's been two weeks now, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off. If you don't already know, this was Anthony Marshall Prugel from Stone Lake Studios that we're currently sitting in. And if you haven't yet, definitely check out my link in my bio to see all of the previous work that I've done, as well as podcasts and much, much more. All right, guys. As always, we'll see you.